Hi, so we're gonna take a look at uh, turning in a Google slide as a PDF. So this is a case where you're making a Google slide presentation for your class and now you have to turn it in uh, online to Canvas. So, so basically um, we have a sample assignment here. Okay, and you can just go ahead and click the link there in the assignment. All right, so there we have, uh, and notice that it's view only. So this would be a case where the teacher uh, gave some template right uh, and you're supposed to edit it and then turn it in. So, so we go ahead, the first thing we have to do is get an editable version. So we're gonna do that by saving a copy or making a copy of the entire presentation onto our Google Drive. So we're gonna copy this template presentation that the teacher gave and that we're gonna save it as a new presentation on our drive. So we're gonna file, make a copy, entire presentation. We're just gonna call it, I'm just gonna call it temp so I know to delete it later. Uh, you can do the same. Of course, if you're just, okay. Of course, if you're doing this in reality, you would make a better name for it. Okay, so notice now that we have two tabs open, which is really confusing. So we're gonna close the original, leaving only the editable one open. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add a slide. So we're gonna right click a new slide. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say cats are amazing. Okay, and let's take a look at how to add a image just real quick. I know that you've watched a couple of videos, you already have seen this. Okay, so we're gonna search cats. Um, we're going to click images. Not that, whatever that is. Okay, so, boy, I'm having problems with my typing, aren't I? So cats. Okay, so there we have it. And now we're going to go to uh, tools and usage rights labeled for non-commercial use. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and just um, drag it over to separate it off, separate the tab into a new window. And we're gonna drag over this guy, so we're gonna click on it, we're gonna view it there, and then we're gonna just literally drag it from one browser to another. Uh, Google you know, takes care of, uh, of, um, of getting it over onto your presentation. Okay, so there we have it. And then you would basically edit the presentation and then add some text to your image like, this is a hungry cat. Okay, all right, so there we go. So now it's time to go ahead. You've worked really hard. You, your presentation is ready to turn in. So how do we turn it in? Well, we have a lot of options here. So we can go file, download, and notice that we have a couple of options here. So PowerPoint presentation, we can download it as a PowerPoint. That's just, that's basically the original presentation format from Microsoft. That's what everybody uses for presentations. Uh, ODP is an open document presentation. So that's like the open source version of a PowerPoint. Um, you'd use it in LibreOffice or um, OpenOffice. So there are a bunch of variants of it. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and use a PDF. And the reason is, is PDF is able to be viewed easily in the browser. So a lot of times that's what uh, teachers want you to turn it in as. Uh, uh, you can also download it as a series of JPEGs or PNGs. So that would be like if you had 10 images, this would download it as 10 different uh, images, one for each slide. The same thing with an SVG. So all the last three here would download it. So you had 10 slides, it would download as 10 images. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stick with PDF. Um, unless otherwise stated, just go ahead and download as a PDF. If you wanted to show it, like if you wanna download it to your computer for later use so that you can show it as a presentation in a class, you might wanna download as a, as a PowerPoint. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and do PDF. So click on PDF and it's gonna save. So notice that it's PDF, temp.pdf, whatever the name of the document is, that'll be that.pdf. We're gonna go ahead and make sure it's not open with, make sure it's save, click save. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and turn it in. So we have a couple of options on turning it in. We can go ahead and click Submit Assignment. And this is gonna be a file upload here. So we're gonna click, um, um, we don't actually have to click Browse. So we can click the Download, you know, your download list of files that have downloaded. You know, on, on Chrome, it'll be down at the bottom and Firefox, it's up at the top here. And we're just gonna drag it from that list and drop it right on the Browse button, okay? And that will allow us to turn in the document, okay? So if we click Submit Assignment there, uh, notice that it uploads just fine. 
Um, and we never really had to find it on the computer, right? Uh, we just dragged it from the download list. We can also, um, instead of dragging from the download list, we can go to browse. And when things download, the default download location on on PCs, on you know Windows computers, is in downloads, and then and then the downloads folder. This is temp. I downloaded one earlier, so that's why it's. If you download things with the same name, it automatically adds a number to the end of it, which is fine. Okay, so we click open. And then we have to remember to click Submit Assignment. Okay, so there we have it. We always wanna go ahead and check, so we're gonna go ahead and check submission details to make sure it's uploaded. And there we see it's been uploaded and ready for the teacher to grade. Okay, uh, go ahead and try it yourself, best of luck.